that one piece actually disappointed me. I thought that was kind of sus. Sisters and Seekers. It has a very cool girl branding. Definitely 100% in the street style family. And if you're a loyal subscriber, you know what that means to me. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariam and I create content about fashion and fitness. And if you're not subscribed already, I would love for you to click the subscribe button down below. In today's video, I will be reviewing Sisters and Seekers. I will give you guys my honest review. I will share with you guys my entire Sisters and Seekers collection. It's not massive. I've got six individual pieces that I want to share with you guys I will try and link every single piece down below But there are a few pieces here that aren't available anymore I've noticed that sisters and seekers like to do drops where they don't really bring pieces back But there still are going to be some pieces that are going to be linked down below in case you guys want to check them out So the very first piece that I'm going to share with you guys was my very first purchase at sisters and seekers And after this you could say I was sort of hooked and it is their very popular popular workout and water your plants hoodie you guys this hoodie I don't even know where to start like I actually love this hoodie so much I've worn and tried so many hoodies in my entire life and I feel like it's a very bold statement to say that this hoodie's fit is my absolute favorite they only come in two sizes a small medium and a medium large I'm a small medium and this size is amazing it's perfect I usually tend to be an 8 to 10 in my regular clothes and and an SM is perfect on me. With this piece, you never have to worry about it like never coming back. It's sold out so many times and I've noticed that Sisters and Seekers always tend to bring it back. It's definitely a very popular piece. What I love about this hoodie is what's written. It has workout on the top and if you guys know me, I love working out and at the bottom it's like water your plants. I mean, I don't have any plants, but I always do have fresh flowers and like, <laughs> I kind of like re relate to this hoodie in a way, you know what I mean? By the way, if you are a student, you can get 10% off Sisters and Seekers through Student Beans. There is one thing that I'm really sad about this hoodie and it's the fact that right here, there is like this reddish stain on it. And I honestly have no idea where that came from. I'm always very careful when I'm putting clothes in the wash and it just doesn't come off. You guys can't see it here, but, or maybe you can. Like, you see that like reddish faded over here. I'm not even sure what that is. Like, I don't know if it's like color bled onto this or just a black faded, which doesn't sound right. I mean, I don't know how to get it off, but knowing me, I feel like I'll end up buying this again and just like use this as a more like loungy hoodie at home over like, you know, wearing it out. I, honestly, I still wear this hoodie but there's just this like reddish thing over here that's like you know it's kind of sad like I love it so much and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like repurchase it eventually but that's just one thing that happened but I'm not really sure if that's my fault I don't blame the quality the quality is great like the prints haven't cracked at all the prints are still there and I've worn it tons and tons ever since I got it I'm pretty sure I got this like over a year ago and I've worn it a lot the next product is also a hoodie and this one just says buy a Chanel and get over it sisters and seekers always have like really like quirky things written on their clothing i used to not be a fan of like you know phrases on clothes i thought it was so cringe but the things that they're right i'm like actually i kind of vibe with that like you know what i mean it's quite rare for me to like clothing to have quotes on them but i really like this hoodie and unfortunately they don't sell this one anymore i bought this in 2020 so it's been a while now and i bought this right after the previous hoodie i just showed you guys i absolutely fell in love with the fit and this one is perfect there's no like red marks around it at all if you guys check out deep Pop. I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find like someone selling this hoodie on there I mean Depop's a great place to find pieces that are sold out This is just a very moody hoodie you guys I feel like it goes without saying what bag I love wearing with this I mean Overall, very happy with Sisters and Seekers hoodie, except for one piece that I'm going to talk to you guys about next. That one piece actually disappointed me and it is this hoodie over here. It says reading is like, and it's got like exercise symbols there. For the mind you guys if you follow me on instagram you will know that i love reading i'm always posting the books i'm reading when i saw this hoodie i was like wow like i relate like i, I needed it they had like a really quick drop back in november of 2021 it sold out really quick and i try to like scroll back on sisters and secrets instagram to find like images like model shots of this hoodie but i really couldn't and i thought that was kind of sus and I'll, I'll tell you guys why later on but the reason why i'm really disappointed in this hoodie is that after the very first wash the color really really started to bleed like I don't know if you guys can see but this isn't white anymore and it's supposed to be white it's really this like 
just like a faded green text on a green sweatshirt which isn't bad but that's not its intended look if you know what i mean i'll insert a picture of when i just received it i posted it on my instagram and this is me wearing it when it was like brand new and i feel like there you guys can see that you know it's not green and it's the actual color that was before washing and then after i washed it one time like it just started to look like this and honestly like it's okay i'm not inclined to wear this out anymore i'd rather lounge in it i mean the fit is still phenomenal the fit is still like that sisters and secrets fit but just one pain point is you know about the quality of this and it's a very worn out fabric which i think was the intended aesthetic but the worn out fabric with like you know the faded green it just puts me off a bit i don't really know why and i feel like sisters and seekers might have had some like you know problems with their supply or with their production for this hoodie i mean maybe that's why they also like deleted the ig pictures that i was talking to you guys about like this is just me speculating like i don't know i could be wrong this next piece was a very out of character purchase for me and it is biker shorts leather biker shorts with a really thick waistband that just says secrets on it i mean you guys this was really out of my comfort zone like i'm more of a you know mini dress mini skirt type of girl like i'm not really like a biker shorts or shorts type of girl like it's just never been me i mean i love wearing leggings though and i was like you know what this is just like a legging but like you know in the half version and i <laughs> whoops like i'll probably like it but i just didn't end up loving it so much like i wore it one time and i took a few pictures in it but then after that i kind of was like Mm, meh and i'm actually considering selling this on depop soon i'll have my depop link down below in case you guys want to buy this but the reason i bought these were because of the waistband like i love the fact that it's such a thick ribbed material and it just has sneakers in the front but the thing is that like these are high-waisted biker shorts and the waistband is really really like you know thick and i have a really short torso so the proportions just weren't like you know adding up so after the one time i wore I just wasn't reaching for it anymore because I wasn't like, you know, in love with this product as I thought I would be Overall, I'm just not really happy with this But I do think that if you are someone who loves biker shorts, you'll probably love these because you know the thick waistband And this it also has a zip in the back. So it's really easy to like, you know, get in and out of um, But it's just not for me and if you guys want to buy this, I will link it down below So about a year ago in May or in March of like 2021 Sisters and Seekers had an exclusive collection with ASOS and they created this sweatshirt which I honestly love so much you guys probably have seen me wear this in previous videos like I love the sweatshirt just the color palette they used in this like you know like a really like creamy faded brownish color and then like brown text over here it just says new millennium everyday wear and then it says seekers athletics in the front and there's just like you know this thing here what do you even call that um and what i love is like you know there's also a paneling over here it's just a very like you know a really chill sweatshirt and the fit is also amazing one thing i will give sisters and seekers is that they always nail the fit when it comes to like loungewear and athleisure like the fit of the sweatshirt is honestly chef's kiss it's so good i just love the overall design as well like you know the the, the paneling and the text font and everything about this like it's just such an amazing sweatshirt unfortunately i think this was a limited edition type of piece i haven't seen it on sisters and secrets website or on asos's website but make sure to check out depop i feel like people might be selling it over there the very last product from sisters and secrets that i'm going to review is this cap over here and it just says be yourself you sleep better one thing about sisters and secrets is that they tend to have like you know products that have really deep sayings and like deep quotes and it kind of reminds me of like the mayfair group but a less colorful version um i just got this cap because i thought it was a really cool cap i mean i don't want to mess up my hair but like this is what it looks like i feel like i'll just wear this for the rest of the video but this is the cap it's just a really like you know cool looking cap and i love having caps in my wardrobe like really like you know fun and quirky caps because you know when it's your hair wash day or like when you're just having a not so good hair day it's really good to you know cover the top part of your head and this cap is kind of like a statement piece in my opinion because when you wear pieces that have stuff written on them people's eyes tend to go there first and especially when it's like something that's like you know 
know, this deep. People tend to like, you know, pause and like kind of reflect a bit maybe, you never know. That, that's why I think like, you know, it's more of a statement piece. Like I love wearing like, you know, caps like this. I'm going grocery shopping, you know, plain sweatshirt, a cap, maybe a necklace. Like this is like a grocery store fit for me. Maybe I would not wear the necklace though. Just personal preference. But yeah, this is the last piece. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this where I review brands. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.